Start us off with Chargers at Lions, Tad. San Diego Chargers, again, another team that I, I have supported in the past that I root for, probably Eagles, Chargers, my two favorite teams. Two of the biggest disappointments all season, and finally they're teasing us at the end with small slivers of playoff hope. Lions, they need everything they could to beat a Raiders team not doing very well this last year. They're going to be at home or this you know last three weeks. They're going to be at home, Chargers 7-7, seven and seven, fighting for their playoff lives. And Phillip Rivers, his past two games only, has looked like last year's Phillip Rivers, who was in the MVP consideration. Ryan Matthews, running like he has ever before in his career, finally showing why they took him in the first round and traded draft picks to move up. One thing I worry about with the Chargers is their offensive line. A bunch of guys kind of put together. Uh, Jared Gaither's done a great job as the left tackle, though Jeremy Cleary at the right tackle is going to be a problem, and I worry about... If Gaither, you know, gets a little help against Vandenbosch, Cliff Averill's up against Clary on his own, and that could be some trouble for the Chargers. Either way, I like the Chargers to win this game. Hey, Roz? Yeah, the last two weeks, even though Detroit's come out on top, they, like Tad said, they've had to give everything they got just to beat a struggling Raiders team. And then the 2-12 and Minnesota Vikings, they beat them 34-28. I mean, there, Matthew, it's all been Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson that's been winning these nine games for him. Even though Adama Kansu was back last week, he'll be there this week. Their defense still isn't quite there yet, and it's not what it was er, earlier in the season. And I think that's really going to cost them, you know, in this this week. The Chargers, they just don't lose in December. Phillip Rivers is on fire right now. Vincent Jackson's up over 1,000 yards receiving again this year. Only has around 55 catches or so. So he's been providing some huge plays down the field, as well as Malcolm Floyd. Antonio Gates is back and healthy, which is a huge problem for opposing defenses. Ryan Matthews got over 1,000 yards last week. He's provided an, the running game, which they haven't had since LT left, left town. So the Chargers look very dangerous right now. And I don't see that stopping anytime soon. I think the Chargers are going to go into Detroit and win. No problem. And they, Matthew Stafford's going to keep them in this game with their passing attack. But the Chargers will find a way to game plan it to limit Matthew Stafford a little bit in this game. He'll put up maybe 24 points. But I think Phillip Rivers is going to put up something like 34. And 34-24 is the final. I like San Diego in this one. They're going to keep their playoff hopes alive. It's going to come down to week 17 for both of these teams. Yeah, this is going to be a clean sweep here. And I think the biggest thing you have to look at with the Chargers is Matthews and Tolbert, as you mentioned. They ran all over the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens, right? Um, I mean, I don't think Ray Lewis was at 100%, but whatever. They did do it and uh, really impressed. If they can run the ball that well against Detroit, which they will be able to because teams are running all over Detroit this year, I think that they're going to come off with an easy win. I think Detroit's a one-trick pony, and they're not going anywhere. I think they're going to lose in the first round of the playoffs, and, you know, that'll be it. Wash your hands. It's, it's exciting for next year, but Stafford and Megatron are, are, are not going to be able to win each and every week against teams better than Oakland, which is anybody that they're going to face in the NFC playoffs.